I think the problems are the same problems in Suffolk as they are across the country really, which is frankly a lack of funding. There's no way in which you can expect the health service or, or the social care service to cope with the increased demand, particularly from an increasingly aged population. Um, social services I feel very sorry for. My aunt needed some help and they couldn't provide her with the service that she needed. And it fell on the family. Okay, we realise that family have to help, but we do need a little bit of support and help as well from outside. I think one of the biggest problems we have at the moment is getting people out of Ipswich Hospital um, home because there's nowhere for them to go as an interim procedure. I've got have one or two friends who've spent much longer than they needed to in hospital because there's been nowhere for them to go to. There seems to be um, a lack of coordination between the services and it's very difficult to get straight answers. I think currently at the moment we uh, have an issue in capacity within the health and social care uh, sector. Uh, if someone does need uh, care, actually being able to find a place within a care home or within a home care agency um, is currently a real challenge. There is a shortage actually within the sector. The services are totally disjointed. They're not joined up and we're trying to run the services as businesses and it just doesn't work. The biggest problem is that they don't work closely enough with the voluntary sector. It's getting better than it was but it needs to be a lot more joined up. I find it a little bit confusing that we've got um, Ipswich forming this partnership with Colchester. We've got Ipswich Hospital, Colchester and West Suffolk as part of this STP. We've had Ipswich, West Suffolk and the Norfolk and Norwich Foundation Trust to do with early support discharge. There seem to be so many different ways. We have Ipswich have now got their community services starting on the 1st of October. Colchester don't have those. It, just seems to be so many different things. To make things simpler, um, I'm not sure how easy that would be. I'm not sure simpler is the right answer really, um, because we live in an increasingly complex society. Any, simplifi any simplification implies kind of going back to how the system was, and I don't think it can ever go back. I think it has to always go forward, move with the times, and become more complex and more diverse. I think definitely information both for people in receipt of services, be it a patient or, or, or a social care service, then really understanding what is available to them and who to get that from. And I think likewise, if the services themselves were jointly commissioned and were working together and collaboratively more, they'd be able to deliver a much better service to the patient or end user. My last experience of using NHS was when I was diagnosed with cancer and I feel that for people who have gone through a major illness there needs to be far more support and signposting to actually put you in touch with the services that can actually help you to get on with the remaining part of your life. <laughs> Well, probably better communication. Um, I, for instance, I would like to be able to email my GP. Um, I, I perhaps would like to, uh, Skype contact with him or her. Well, uh, it occurred to me because I was ill in uh, Devon not long ago and the sir, consultant in A&E in Devon told me I'd have to come back here, see my GP and get the GP to refer me to the specialist at Ipswich Hospital. And it seemed to me that a, a consultant in Devon should be able to pick up a phone and make an appointment with a consultant in Ipswich. I think they need to go and spend time in these services. They need to go and speak to the individuals that work in these services. The impact that it has on them at work, the impact it has on them away from work because a lot of these professionals don't switch off at five o'clock on a Friday 
and then actually go and speak to some of the people that are recipients of those services. I hate to say it, but I just, the structures are all wrong. You have to move to some more unified system. You've got to bring the things together. Mm -hmm.